Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we're going to be doing a Wally -E update video. So, in the last update video, we had just started splitting up the model and getting him ready for print and actually printed out a few pieces. So, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the model, which is completely split up now and ready for print. Um, and I've actually printed out quite a few more pieces, so we'll look at those as well. Okay, so this is the state of the model and it is pretty much good to go. I, th um, I have to make just a couple minor adjustments to a few things, but other than that, it is completely done. So let's take a look at what I've got done so far. Um, first, you may notice that I've got a door si or a front part sitting out here as well as over here. Um, and there was actually kind of an interesting story there. I was trying to split it up to create the front door and um, the Tinkercad was not happy with me. I'm not 100% sure why but um, it kept airing out. Every time I duplicate this right here, it just creates a bunch of crazy boxes and says that it can't, um, can't group it like it is. And I tried ungrouping the whole thing and trying to get it to go back together. I could not get it to work. So ultimately what I did is I just um, downloaded this as an STL and then re-imported it back for this over here. So that's why there's no um, colors on this one. But why I did that was to create this door here so you can see that it's actually two separate pieces now and I'll bring this up just slightly and you can see that there are little holes right there that I will be able to put a pin in and it will be able to slide along this rail right here and I think I'm gonna put some magnets up here to keep or help keep the door closed but um, when you give a little pull on it it will fold open like a door. So that way you should have decently easy access to the electronics inside and won't have to completely take it apart to um, mess with things inside. But other than that, you can see that these are the other parts of the body. I have the bo bottom printed already and there's screw holes in it and then these slots for the um, wires to go through. And then the top has the same screw holes for the neck mount and the head motor. And then the rest of them just have these little slots on the side. Um, and if I go underneath, you can actually see a lot of them have slots in them. And those will just slide together and hopefully it will go together pretty easily. And I tried to make it so they slide together in a way that they won't fall apart unless you're intending them to. Because I think the final piece is the front door, which will um, slide down towards the ground. So unless you tip it upside down that shouldn't try to wiggle itself out at all. I actually created this little piece here to help the arm stay in position because I wanted the arm to be um, positionable to some degree so I put a little um, nut hole there that sounded horrible but um, so we'll just be able to slide a nut in there and then screw through it and this will stick right into the body you can see the um, hole right there and the this will be on the back side, put a screw through, and we'll screw into this right here. And then you can just tighten that and loosen it as you see fit. So I, I have to make a couple of adjustments to this door here just to allow for the magnet. And I think this um, front part will catch if I try to open it like this. So I think I need to carve out a little bit in the back. And then I think aside from that, the only thing left to do is to figure out these treads which once I have the rest of it printed, that will be my main focus. And then that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it. I'm sure I'll find other things down the road as I start to assemble him, unfortunately, but um, for right now, this is, uh, this is where we're at. And I've already started printing a bunch of the pieces out. I haven't got them all printed yet, but let's go take a look at what I have. All right, guys, well, here we have the base of Wally, -E, and it's pretty much fully printed. I don't have all the wheels and stuff printed yet, but uh, you can see one of the wheels there. And then, <clears throat> so this is actually his underside. And you can see all these are mounted and the uh, motors are actually in there. And attach two gears, which will turn these gears eventually. And then you can see the wires actually come through up there. So looking at them from the front, this is what we got. So the next big things I have to print are the walls of his body. Um, and they will just set in these and they'll fit in, in a way that they won't fall apart, hopefully. Um, and then the front door will open and this will just be empty space in here that we can put the Arduino and all the electronics. 
And I've given these motors a little test, but they basically just turn this gear, nothing really exciting. Um, and I can't really test out the whole thing until it's um, assembled, because it will have to be glued. And I'm not quite ready to glue it at this stage, so I can't test the whole thing just yet. And then I also printed the head, and I wasn't confident I had enough yellow filament left to do this part, so it's white. Um, but then, got this, we'll just go in that hole right there, and then I'm going to print another one of these that has the the mount for the uh, servo motor that will turn this head but as you can see that actually turned out pretty nicely and then here is half of the neck you can see that there and this um, is the motor that will turn the head so that will be sticking out there be attached to that motor there using one of the servo horns that came with it and then that will just go in like that and Wally's head will be able to turn so that's good so that looks good to me and kind of an interesting thing about this print um, so you can see it actually looks pretty good and I printed it like this with no supports so all of these were bridges and everything and it actually did it pretty amazingly I was really shocked there's a little bit hanging down here but I just cleaned that up and it works just fine so the wire will go through here and then go through the top of the body so we can plug it into the electronics and everything should be good well, there you have it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and this will actually be the last Wally -E update video, um, pending any explosions, because um, if something horrible goes wrong and I end up having to redesign it, obviously it's going to take a lot more time, and then I will do another update video at that time. But um, everything's looking good so far, so I don't see any explosions, knock on wood. So now I just need to finish up some of the bigger print pieces um, and then get it to my wife for painting and then I'll figure out all the electronics and then we'll just need to assemble it and the video will be ready. So I know I've said this a few times before, but hopefully in a few weeks you will have this video. My goal is to get Wally out before the end of April. And I will make sure to keep you guys updated on my Twitter account. Um, you can check that below um, and follow me there. I provide a few project updates there and um, let you guys know if there's going to be any like deviations from the schedule so if you're wanting to know more follow me there and then i think i'll leave this video with that if you're wanting to want to watch next check the little eye up in the corner and then don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already well thank you for joining me guys i'll see you next time